Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and you are watching Backup Baba. I hope you guys are enjoying my videos on Veeam Backup and Replication series and also found it informative. If you are doing so, then please do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button. As I can see, most of the viewers have already subscribed my channel, but still there are few viewers who have not uh, done yet. So I request to those viewers. So please subscribe my channel as your single subscriptions uh, really motivate us to create more and more videos for all of you guys. So please uh, hit the like and subscribe button if you found uh, this channel informative. So today a video is going to be very interesting because I'm creating this videos on public demand. So I got lots of messages uh, to create video on this topic. So today's topic is how to upgrade a Veeam backup and replication from version 11 to version 12. So I hope uh, you will like this video. So without wasting our time, uh, let's begin the upgradation process. So here you can see currently I am using Veeam backup and replication version 11. So what we are going to do, uh, we are going to upgrade this 11 to 12 version. So I have already downloaded a Veeam Backup and Replication version 12 software. Uh, basically it is an ISO image. So here just right click and click on mount. So once you mount, uh, you will get an application uh, with the name of setup. So just right click over the setup and run it as an administrator. So let me close this window. Yeah, so once you run the setup, a pop-up will come and here you will get one option that is upgrade. So you just need to click on upgrade button. Yeah, so once you click upgrade, uh, you will get three options. But here you can see uh, the remaining two options uh, is saying like, firstly, I have to upgrade backup server first. So what we will do, uh, we will upgrade Veeam backup and replication first. So just click on upgrade Veeam backup and replication. So once you click upgrade Veeam backup and replication, an initializing setup wizard has started and uh, it is saying to please wait. So I think it will take one or two minutes uh, to move to the next step. Yeah, so this page is talking about the license agreement. So if you want to read the license agreement, we just uh, click on the links and you can read it out the license agreement. So here I am clicking on I accept button. Yeah, so coming to the next step. So this page is talking about the uh, component upgrade. So here you can see there are three components which are going to be upgraded from version 11 to version 12. So Veeam backup catalog, Veeam backup and replication server, Veeam backup and replication console. So these are the three components which are going to be upgraded to version 12. Also, uh, if you want to update your remote components, uh, then you have to uh, check this option. So once Veeam replication and server got upgraded, then uh, this particular remote components will also get upgraded automatically. So now clicking on next. Yeah, so this page is talking about the license. So if you are using production license, uh, so once uh, this uh, version 11 upgradation got completed to version 12, then your license uh, will also get upgraded automatically to version 12. So here uh, I'm keeping this default and clicking next. So here in the next page, uh, the system configuration check has started and it is trying to enable the missing features. 
yeah so coming to next page so this page is talking about the service account so you have to specify account for vim backup and replication so here it is recommended to keep the local system account but if you want to change the user account then make sure that user must have the local administrator privilege on the server so i'm keeping it default and clicking next so once we click next yeah so this page is talking about our database uh, engine and an instance for vim backup and replication configuration data so here you can see our host name is Agni and the instance name is Vim uh, SQL 2016 and our database name is Vim Backup. So the last option is connect to SQL Server using. So I'm using the Windows authentication. So if you want to use the SQL Server authentication with some other credentials, then you can select the second option and you can just provide the username and password with that SQL Server authentication user. So I'm keeping it default and clicking next. So here we have got a note uh, that is saying like Vim backup is the Vim backup and replication configuration database. Uh, so you, if you want to connect this installation to the selected database, so obviously yes, uh, we will going to connect uh, this only database. So here I'm clicking on yes button. So here uh, this is trying to check the configuration check. So here on this page, the system is trying uh, to check the compatibility issues uh, to upgrade to version 12. Yeah, so I think in the previous step, everything is fine. We don't require any other tool uh, to be installed. Uh, our prerequisite check has passed and uh, I think we are good to go to click on upgrade button. So here, uh, this is the configurations. So let's uh, click on upgrade button. Yeah, so here you can see uh, our upgradation process has started and it is saying like it will get completed in the seven steps. So right now the first step is running on and in the first step, the software is trying to upgrade Vim backup and replication server. So let's see what comes in the second step. Yeah, so in the next step, uh, the software is trying to upgrade Vim backup and replication console. So that particular console, which will also get upgraded to version 12. So let's see uh, what comes in the step three. So in step 3, the software is trying to upgrade Vim Explorers. Uh, now let's see what comes in the step 4.
Yeah, so here in step four, the software is trying uh, to upgrade Veeam agents uh, redistributables. So let's see what comes in step five. Yeah, so in step 5, the software is trying to upgrade the plugins for Veeam backup and replication. So let's see uh, what comes in step 6. Yeah, so in step 6, the software is trying to apply the latest updates uh, which are available. So we have to wait here uh, for a few minutes and uh, let's see uh, what comes in step 7. Yeah, so guys, you can see uh, this is the seventh and final step. Uh, in step seven, the software is trying to finalize the installation and also trying to start the services. So this whole process has taken around approximately 30 minutes, you can see. Uh, so I have done lots of cuts uh, just to make this video shorter. I don't want to make this video longer. Uh, but just for your info, uh, it has taken around uh, 30 minutes. So let's wait for another uh, two or three minutes uh, to complete this uh, recent process. Yeah, so here you can see Veeam backup and replication has been successfully upgraded to version 12. Now I'm clicking on finish button. Yeah, so here I have gotten warning and it is saying like I must restart your system uh, for the configuration changes made to Veeam backup and replication to take effect. Click yes to restart. So let me click on yes and uh, let's come back once uh, the server got restarted. Yeah, so the system has rebooted successfully. So let me log in onto the server. Oops. Yeah, so let me close this server manager window. Yeah, so now as the server got rebooted, uh, now the next step is to check uh, the Veeam version. Uh, so whether it has been upgraded to version 12 or not. So just double click on Veeam backup and replication console. So here you can see uh, earlier it was showing version 11, but now it is showing Beam backup and replication 12. So that's all for in this video, guys. I hope uh, you have found this video informative. I have tried uh, to keep this video in a very simple language and uh, I have showcased you each and every step in a very simple uh, manner. So I hope uh, uh, you're gonna like this video. Please do not forget to subscribe my channel as your one subscription really boosts us to motivate and help us to create more and more videos for all of you guys thanks for watching uh, we will meet again very soon in the next videos take care goodbye